In the decade and a half since it first entered service, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor has been an air superiority fighter without equal, but that hasn't always been the case. For a short time in the 1990s, the YF-22 that would lead to the operational F-22 may have met its match in the form of Northrop's YF-23. Either of these highly capable airframes would have resulted in a dominant air superiority fighter that would be the first of a new generation, and the truth is, performance may not have even been the ultimate deciding factor between these two jets. Perception is everything, even in the airplane business. The F-22 Raptor bears a passing resemblance to conventional fourth-generation fighters despite its stealth design, the YF-23 was rather unconventional. Like the F-22, it utilized diamond-shaped wings to reduce its radar signature, but the two diverged dramatically in the nose and tail sections. The YF-23's nose is striking, with its cockpit pushed forward on the airframe for improved visibility and a drooping duckle of the nose adding to the platform's alien aesthetic. On the back, an all-moving V-tail gave the fighter incredible maneuverability despite the platform lacking in the F-22's thrust vectoring capabilities. Two YF-23 prototypes were ultimately built. The first, dubbed the Black Widow 2 by those involved with the program, was all black and powered by a pair of Pratt & Whitney engines that allowed the jet to supercruise at Mach 1.43 during its first round of testing in 1990. The second YF-23, painted grey and upgrade Ghost, switched to General Electric YF-120 engines, which offered improved supercruise capabilities, reaching Mach 1.6 in testing, just slipping past the YF-22's Mach 1.58. While the YF-23's top speed remains classified to this day, defense analysts have claimed that it was better than Mach 2. However, the operational F-22 flying today beats both of those marks, with the top speed at Mach 2.25 and the ability to supercruise at Mach 1.82. The YF-23 proved to be stealthier than its competitor, though it was seen as less maneuverable than the thrust vectoring YF-22. Thrust vector control allows the pilot to aim the outlet of the jet's thrust to dramatically increase maneuverability, even allowing the aircraft to continue flying in one direction as it points its nose in another. Northrop opted not to include thrust vector control in their YF-23 in favor of a stealthier radar profile and lighter overall platform. Instead, they used the large surfaces of the YF-23's unique V-tail to help the fighter turn on a dime and the truth is, it managed performance that was nearly comparable to the F-22's despite its lack of thrust vector control. Ultimately, while the YF-23 could just about match the F-22's acrobatics, Lockheed won the perception war by demonstrating their fighters' capabilities in a more dynamic way. Lockheed test pilots showed off the aircraft's ability to utilize a high angle of attack, fired missiles, and executed maneuvers that placed more than 9 G's worth of force on the airframe. While the YF-23 could have done the same, Northrop didn't in the demonstration. Many contend that it was this salesmanship, rather than strictly platform capabilities, that helped the YF-22 stand out in the minds of defense officials.
The most notable place where the YF-23 had a clear advantage was in fuel range. Early in these aircraft's development stage, the U.S. Navy had plans to adopt the winner as a replacement for their own aging fourth-generation intercept fighter, the F-14 Tomcat. The YF-23's combat radius was significantly greater than the F-22's, which, when coupled with its slightly better stealth profile, meant the YF-23 could fly further into contested airspace, where refueling isn't an option, than its Lockheed competitor. Today, that capability would be coveted among Navy officials, as the branch continues to work toward finding ways to extend the combat radius of carrier-borne fighters. Both Northrop's YF-23 and Lockheed's YF-22 were clearly extremely capable fighters. Northrop's YF-23 offered greater range and superior stealth, but the YF-22 used more advanced avionics and had a slight advantage in maneuverability.